G'day, um, in today's vid I'm going to be making a didgeridoo and doing a giveaway. Um, it's probably a, probably worth about 800 bucks this uh, didgeridoo, won't cost you anything to enter. So stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll uh, give you the details on how you can win it. Big cathedral, termites nest, it's a monster. It's an absolute beauty. There'd be millions of termites in that. There's hundreds of termites, hundreds of tons of termites per square kilometer up here. And the whole Savannah woodlands um, system relies on the termites. That's a beauty. You can see at the top where they've put new stuff, started to extend it, make it taller. Family must be growing. Put the Renos on. Oh, that must be five metres high. It's a good one. Here's one here. It would have been a beauty, but it's a it's a bit old and it's a bit worn. So you can see it's hollow. The termites have been right up in it. All the dirt there. Look at the base. Would have been a beautiful big trumpet at the base. Ah well, it wasn't to be. Keep searching out here. It's bloody hot. So I've just cut this one down, I tapped it with my knife, could feel it was hollow, but it's not quite hollowed out probably, which is a shame because that would have been beautiful, nice bell end, I could have um, chiseled that out and it would have made a beautiful ditch, <laughs> fairly straight as well, anyway it wasn't to be, I'll keep searching, it's only time for a drink I'm Dry as a dead dingo's donger. Alright, I reckon I'm going to take my chance with that one. That could be a good dig. Alright, I've got this one. I only got the one. I was hoping to get a couple, but I only got this one. These little bush flies are driving me mad. This thing's pretty heavy and I've walked through the bush a fair way, I'm getting a bit thirsty so I might call it a day. Yeah basically we're just going to um, debark this one today, it's a green one so the, the process of making it's a little bit longer, so you've got to get the bark off first and dry it out. Um, so that basically entails just uh, yeah, stripping the bark off with, with um, a hammer and chisel and I'll just leave it out in the weather. Well, it's a wet season now, so hopefully we get a bit of rain, a fair bit of rain. And I'll, every time I walk past it, I'll water it. You water it down, um, washes all the sap out. So I can do a little bit today, get the bark off and chisel a little bit at the ends, but I'm sort of limited until, um, until it dries right out. I'm pretty sure the ancient Aborigines used to soak them in salt water in the ocean somewhere. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they did. But I won't do that, I'll just leave it in the shade here somewhere, wash it down and uh, and wait for it to dry out. Here's some of the old other ones I've made over the last couple of years. Here's a stock standard one, one I found out in Arnhem Land. These ones here, these are painted by a local indigenous man by the name of Donnie Wellick. Donnie! Yes. The great Donnie. You been in a movie before? Yes, I've been in the movie in the high ground in Penclaw. I'm a very more famous man. All around um, uh, Australia. Yeah, I know, I've seen your paintings. I'm a great man because I do a lot of uh, my, in, my indigenous art here. Now I'm more proper, you know. 
So and you no one will really have the money there. No one estimate. No one estimate the, the, the man. Yeah, yeah. I do this. I do this because my um, culture will run um, I'll to run Australia. That's all you know. Yeah. I've seen you paint, Donnie. I love your painting. Yes, absolutely. So, what are you going to do now? You're going to paint this? Did you remove? No, very much for you there, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. This I'm is and his father. Donnie. Yeah. Who, what did your grandfather do? Um. Well, I'm. Um, i um, one of the uh, famous rock star, the Beatles. That bought yeah. my uh, my granddad. I uh, did redo. In in England, the Beatles in, bought. In England, in England. In, uh, way back in. Uh, 60s and 50s, you know, 1950. Long, long, long way to go. Yeah, long way to go. Have you, so, have you been to London, Donny? Oh yeah, yeah, I've been to London because I've, I've seen my um, my my granddad. So I did redo there. Donny Wellick, he's, he's claimed to fame. His grandfather sold a didgeridoo to the Beatles, so yeah, I haven't been able to find Donny. Um, he's going to walk about. So, but yeah, he painted these and his, his family, he taught his whole family how to paint. His wife and his son, and they were just as good as him. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, I can't find him. So, this one here is an actually, it's actually a, an old fence paling. Donny's um, found a an old fence paling from somewhere. He shaped it up into a crocodile and then painted this croc. Pretty sure his dreaming was the crocodile, his totem. So he was really good. He painted a lot of crocodiles and um, he was really good at it. But uh, yeah, this one's a little beauty. He gave it to me, so that's one I treasure. of the bark off now there's a little bit left on there I'll spend a little bit more time on that and get the rest of it off shortly so it's so far so good I think it's going to be a really nice ditch by the time we've finished so I'll take a bit off there off the mouthpiece and I'll take some off the inside of there make that chamber there a lot bigger <laughs> so the uh, the object now is to uh, get the sap out and dry it right out so yeah like I say you can't put it straight in the sun because it'll crack so I'll find somewhere shady but where the water can still get to it and um, and I'll hose it down every day and yeah it won't take long it'll be dried out and then we'll finish the process Okay, so the didge is dried out <coughs> enough now so I can get the, um, the grinder on it with a little fl uh, flappy disc. So I'll try and smooth it out as, um, as much as I can with that grinder and thin some parts out, thin this mouthpiece out a bit. Uh, get it smoothed right off and get it ready for the sander. Let's give it a crack.
Okay, I've just about got this ditch ready to be painted. I've got a little bit of patch up work to do here. I'm going to put some, some fillers down in here in these gaps, fill them up, put a bit of resin over the top. And there's just a couple of nicks on here I want to grind out, just lightly grind out and resand it. Okay, so I um, the didgeridoo is all ready. We're good to go. She's nice and smooth and it's ready to paint. So I've, I've had trouble trying to find an artist. Um, like I said before, Donnie Wellick, he's di he disappeared, I couldn't find him. So I've just driven down the um, Parap Markets this morning and I met a guy by the name of Leslie no Nowirich. Great artist, he just won the um, Senior Territorian Art Award 2023. This is him here. So he, he's just agreed to um, paint this dig on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then I was walking around the markets and I found Donnie. So we're gonna head down there now and Donnie's gonna, Donnie's a really quick painter. Um, yeah, so he's gonna paint this today. So he's gonna paint it at the markets. He's got a busking license down there. So um, we're gonna head down there and get this didgeridoo painted finally. So let's get down there, I'm excited. Here they are, Donnie and his family. How are you? There she is, bro. How you going, Donnie? Hey, good, brother. Long time no see. What have you been up yeah, to? Yeah, I've been like uh, traveling around the world. Where you been? Around the world. Around the world, yeah? yeah. Painting? Yeah, yeah. What countries did you go to? I've been to Paris, London, and uh, Europe. And just painting for people? Yeah, painting for people. Good stuff. Yeah. And there's, there's Daniel. Hello. Donnie's son. Give us a bit of a tune, Daniel. I will take them. So what are we going to do today, Donny? What are we going to paint? Uh, crocodile or something on there? Yeah, crocodile. Yeah. Fresh water. Right? Is that your totem? That's your totem, isn't it? Fresh water, yeah. Fresh yeah, yeah. Water. Long, long nose crocodile. you've painted me a couple of crocodiles. Fresh water, real. That's not water. Big crocodile. Ice. Here's one. My real. Oh, yours is? The one is yeah. singing now. That's the, 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 Thank you. The long. Oh yeah, the freshwater croc. Fresh yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's his. That's Donnie's. Yeah. Ah. All right. So we're going to head over now, and Donnie's going to work his magic. Yeah. So we'll um. Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Canvas. Yeah. What are you gonna paint? Um, Barramundi. Barramundi. On, on canvas. Oh, where well, you gonna do that here or down there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Nah. Uh, this is a very special one. Uh, 
um, this is very special one for uh, Daniel, my son. Um, you find a special one for me, Donny? Special one here today. Um, it's a crocodile and croc egg and um, lily flowers. Oh, very, awesome. very. Oh, number one. Number one? I, I can't say anything, <laughs> but you see him after later on, you know. I've been to like uh, Paris, London, uh, last couple of uh, years ago, uh, one year ago. So, Painting all over there. Yeah, and I'm, now I'm back here. So I'm doing this very special for my, uh, uh, my, my, my mate. Yeah, for we my mate. It. Yeah. We've, we missed you. Yeah, <laughs> me too, yeah. <laughs> but very, very special. Sure. Absolutely. You'll see you later. <laughs> Yang ngambar kan yang ngajar, mengajar yang ngambar yang ngambar, ngambar yang ngajar. What's that you're painting there now, Donny? Uh, croquet. Oh, that's the eggs? Yeah, egg. Croquet. How do you say, how do you say croquet? Uh, in nest, Gino? nest. Croquet. Ah, uh, what? How do you say it in Juno? Ilimbring. Ilimbring. Ilimbring.
Jelem bereng, Daniel. Jelem bereng. Ya, Jelem bereng. Jelem bereng. Ya, Jelem bereng. Apa kata lain? Finish him up. So really, I'm um, very, very. Um, this painting is gonna be really popular. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, beauty. Really, really popular. Good stuff, Tony. Yes. Yeah. Looks, looks awesome, right? And Daniel's. And Daniel's too, my boy. Yeah. That looks unreal. Yeah. And like I'm gonna do this because. I've been worried. I've been looking for you everywhere. Now well, you no, finally me. found you. You've yeah, been disappeared yeah, two yeah, years. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, son. And now my brother, I'm he's gonna back. Him up for you. Dorian back home. Dorian, she's really sick. She got, she can have uh, operation, uh, surgery. She'll be back tomorrow, right? Eh? Uh, Monday. Monday. Yeah. Well, Beautiful, mate. Awesome. He's done. Donnie's Donnie's worked uh, worked his magic. Well, I've got a beautiful dig here to give away now. I'm stoked. I'm absolutely stoked. Can't believe I found him. So. Yo, much. Yo, Naga. 
Here is Donny, one of Donny's masterpieces. Done well, mate. Proud of you. Good to see you again. Hey, good job. I love you, brother. Love you too, boss. The wax is on. Uh, you've seen the whole process now. Um, so remember, this is a giveaway. So now it's time to give it away. So to win this, um, if you follow me on TikTok, there'll be a link in the description there with the email address. There's also uh, my email address is on the on my YouTube channel, and I'll put it up on the screen here now. So send me your your name um, and where you're from and in the next in the next couple of weeks two or three weeks i'll draw it out and then we'll draw out the lucky winner and get the ditch sent off to you so you can enjoy it um also if anybody wants to get in contact with donnie or his family um they're great artists um brilliant artists uh if you want anything done let me know i'll put you in contact with them it'd help them a lot and um you'd really really love their art you've seen some of the stuff they've done here so the whole lot of them paint so let me know Give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe would be even better and see you on the next one. Hooroo.